Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a tiny kingdom, peaceful, prosperous, and rich in romance and tradition, here in a stately chateau. Once upon a time, there lived a gentleman who married twice. His second wife was a widow with two grown-up daughters, both some of what passed their prime, and this woman would have been the proudest and most overbearing in the world had not her daughters exactly resembled with her fine airs and insolent tempers. The husband, too, had by his first wife a child of his own, a young daughter, and so good and so gentle that she promised to grow up into the living image of her dead mother, who had been the most lovable of all women. Cinderella had a miserable life, working as a slave for her stepmother and stepsisters. Cinderella did not stand up for herself. She took care of the household duties. In the end saved by a prince, in order to have a better and wealthier life. Cinderella slaved away every day, taking care of her evil stepmother and sisters. Cinderella would very seldom have any time for her own self-care. At last the sisters were ready. They laughed at Cinderella because she could not go to the ball. Cinderella ran out to the garden and wept. She was unhappy and lonely. Suddenly a beautiful lady appeared before her and said, I am your fairy godmother and I will see that you go to the balm. If you do as I say first, bring me a yellow pumpkin. The fairy godmother changed Cinderella's rags into a beautiful gown for the ball. <laughs> Cinderella rode off into the night to attend the prince's ball. Cinderella was the most beautiful woman the prince had ever laid his eyes upon. The evil stepmother watched the prince, and Cinderella danced the night away. Cinderella had till the stroke of midnight before her fairy godmother's magic would wane away. At that very moment, the magic ended, the coach, horses, footmen, and the beautiful dress all disappeared. No one could find the beautiful girl who had left the ball in such a hurry. The prince wanted to marry her, and he decided to search each and every house in the kingdom to find her. He sent his most trusted messenger.
The goal being to try the glass slipper in every single woman in the kingdom. The prince would marry the lucky lady who fit into the magic slipper. Upon placing the slipper of Cinderella's foot, the girl was quickly transformed back into the fairy godmother's magic attire she wore just the night before. The prince and Cinderella were soon wed in the small kingdom. Cinderella moved away with her prince and was to never see her evil stepmother and sisters again. And they lived happily ever after. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe so we will all live happily ever after. Many blessings to the rest of your day.